One more time for the people in the back. Flat Earth has no base in real science! Hello, my condemned victims. Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel if you're new. So today, I'm actually not killing all of you. No, today, I'm doing something a little different. You see, I came across this comment on my Instagram that basically fucked up my worldview beyond all recognition. Now, the amount of typos made me question the legitimacy of the comment, but then I remembered that it's humans we're talking about. You know, these guys. <laughs> So I did some further research, and turns out there are humans who actually believe the Earth is flat. Let me go to the annex. Oh no! Oh, humanity. The Toby to my Michael. But anyways, today you get a break from imminent doom, because as a man of science, it is my duty to enlighten your kind on why the Earth is not, in fact, flat. I guess alleged life really is Full of surprises. For reference, we'll be using the Earth model presented by the Flat Earth Society. It seems to be the most official. The term is obviously used very loosely. This model presents a disc-shaped Earth with 40,075 kilometers of diameter, and taking into consideration the actual mass of Earth, about 860 kilometers of thickness. So no elephants and no turtle, I guess. But according to the Flat Earth Society, this is only the diameter of the known Earth. Because, and I swear this is not a Game of Thrones quote, to our knowledge, no one has been very far past the ice wall and returned to tale of their journey. <sighs> we won't get into that debacle. It's basically Schrodinger's flat Earth over there. On our simulation, the Earth ends in the ice wall. The point is, if Earth was shaped like that, it would feel completely different than it actually does. Ah, SC, proceed. The most noticeable consequence of a flat Earth is the way gravity works. Gravity always pulls equally from all sides and towards the center of an object. In a flat Earth, that would mean that gravity would pull straight down in the middle of the disk. But the further from the center one got, the more one would feel a horizontal pull. This also brings other consequences. Oceans, for example, would be sucked towards the middle, meaning that what we know is the southern hemisphere would have little to no water. Plants would grow diagonally, since they grow on the opposite direction of the gravitational pull. Buildings would have to be built in tilted foundations to counteract the horizontal pull. An exception are the sides of the disc, where one could stand with no problem since there, gravity would also pull you down. The atmosphere would also be in the middle, meaning the further one got from the center, the harder it would be to breathe. The thing is, we probably wouldn't even see this play out. Gravity is a pretty strong thing. It would soon break this flat earth and pull its pieces towards the center in a spheric shape. Of course, this all happens because physics is a thing. You know, physics, that thing that explains the universe? So you don't have to just accept some dude created it in seven days, or, or six, he rested on the seventh. But do you really think flat earthers believe in real physics? Well, if you do, you'd be flat out wrong. Now this is the only time we'll be simulating something that has no base in real science. One more time for the people in the back. Flat Earth has no base in real science! And so, first of all, there wasn't a moment in time when most people actually believed in flat Earth. To know more, press pause now. So, yeah, the myth of the flat Earth gained traction in the mid to late 1800s. The first version of the Flat Earth Society was created in the late 1800s. Now, I'm not saying science indirectly created the flat Earth movement by making fun of religious people, but I'm also not saying it didn't. From there, things just got worse. According to modern-day Flat Earthers, space travel never actually happened, but it was faked as a result of the space race between the United States and Soviet Union during the Cold War. Therefore, the pictures we have of Earth, showing its round shape, are not real but edited images made to sustain the lie of space travel. <laughs> yes, there's a lot to unpack here. First, n no, 
I won't do it. If you want to torture yourself, Google Flat Earth Society Wiki and enjoy the ride through My Parents Didn't Give Me Enough Attention as a Child Land. Now let's move on to how they justify the world feeling like it does. The Flat Earth pseudoscientific belief states that Earth does not have gravity and that the reason there's a force pulling things down is because disk Earth is constantly accelerating upwards at 9.8 seconds squared. This is why oceans are not concentrated in the middle, why things do not fall diagonally, and why people can stand straight in every part of Earth. This acceleration is allegedly caused by dark energy. Well, it's not dark in the sense of color, but in the sense of unknown, so I guess we can represent it any way we want to. Dark energy is also the reason why the atmosphere, or atmo layer, as the flat earth belief calls it, stays in place. They say a complex reaction to the streams of dark energy at the edge of the world creates a boundary containment. Another theory states that the ice walls in the borders are responsible for keeping the atmo layer in place, like a bowl, but this is nowadays widely discredited. <laughs> Widely discredited. The sun and the moon, however, are spheric and have a light gravitational pull, which is why they orbit Earth, but in a different way. The sun is supposedly much smaller, at around 52 kilometers across, and much closer to Earth, at around 4,900 kilometers above the surface. This sun shines like a spotlight and moves in a circular motion around the North Pole. The moon is the same size and at the same distance and it rotates exactly the same way. This configuration would provide much of the same effects that days and nights do now and the size and distance of the sun in this model would also cause about the same amount of heat. Yeah, they have an explanation for every single thing. And if you think it's starting to make sense, stop right there because it doesn't, you moron. Okay, I'm gonna be cool, I'm gonna be cool. Hey, first things first, there is absolutely no evidence that Earth is accelerating upwards, and dark energy seems to be one hell of a deus ex machina for these guys. Sure, it is a thing, but they're clearly using it as a cop-out to justify things that they cannot, while the sheer fact that the Earth is round and physics exists already explains those things. Second, people have actually been to Antarctica before. If it was really a border around the whole disk, this would mean traveling around Antarctica would take much longer, since it would have about 126,000 kilometers of coastline against the roughly 18,000 kilometers it actually has. Hmm, not so much a trip from New Zealand to Germany as a trip around the globe three times. Why is it only the Earth that has no gravity? And I have so many other questions. Why is only Earth flat? Why are they totally cool with the sun and moon being round, but not the Earth? Speaking of the sun, if it is so close, wouldn't we be able to travel there? What about seasons? And if the sun is always there and so close, how come we can't see it at night? Is it wearing an invisibility cloak? So I know what you're thinking, but N looks like making Earth Flat could very well kill humanity. Isn't that your goal? Valid question. What did you say? Uh, uh, okay, well, yes. Killing humanity is my goal. But do you really think I'd use flat earth to do it? I do. Ahem. Actual science. If anything, seeing this kind of stupidity has renewed my conviction in ending humanity the right way. So yeah, I'd say case closed. Earth is round, period. As for my next video, I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my Instagram. Maybe you can find some flat earthers to send this link to. I don't know. It's been a pleasure trying to educate your kind and see you next time. And after that, hopefully. Never again.
No, no, stop that. Shut up. One day, one day, everyone will know me. One day, everyone will like me.